Suppose t is a linear transformation from R3 to R3, and we are given the following three transformations. We're asked to find matrix A of t, which is the standard matrix or transformation matrix, such that t of x equals ax for all x. In this lesson, we will take the approach of determining the transformations of the vectors e sub one through e sub three, which will give us the three columns of the three by three transformation matrix, or matrix A. In another lesson, we'll take a look at how to use an inverse matrix to find matrix A. So we're gonna begin by writing the standard basis vectors, the vectors e sub one through e sub three, as linear combinations of the vectors we know the transformations of, which are the vectors one, one, negative eight, negative one, zero, six, and zero, one, negative three. So here I've set this up where we have the vector one, zero, zero as linear combinations of the three vectors. And then we have the vector zero, one, zero as linear combinations of the same three vectors. And then finally the vector zero, zero, one as a linear combination of the three vectors. And again, we're using these three vectors because we know the transformations of these three vectors. Of course, the next step is to write the augmented matrix. We need to be careful when doing this. Notice how for the matrix equation or vector equation, we have the constant vectors on the left. In the augmented matrix, we have the constant vectors in the fourth column. So let's begin by focusing on the linear combination for the vector E sub one of the vector one zero zero. So again, we have the augmented matrix here. And just to be sure, notice how this first row is one, negative one, zero, one, because the first equation is one C one minus one C two plus zero C three equals one. So notice how we have the one here on the left and the augmented matrix is on the right. The next step is to write the augmented matrix in reduced echelon form, which I've already done. This tells us that C sub one equals six, C sub two equals five, and C sub three equals six. So now we know the vector one, zero, zero is equal to six times the vector one, one, negative eight, plus five times the vector negative one, zero, six, plus six times the vector zero, negative one, three. Remember our goal here is to find the transformation of the vector one, zero, zero. So the next step here on the right is to take the transformation of both sides of the equation. From here, we are going to apply the linear transformation properties shown below on the right side of the equation. We'll take the transformation of the sum and write it as a sum of three transformations, which we see here. Next, we'll factor out the constants of six, five, and six, which gives us this line. And now we know the transformations of these three vectors. The transformation of one, one, negative eight is equal to one, three, one. The transformation of negative one, zero, six is equal to two, four, one. And the transformation of zero, negative one, three is equal to six, one, negative one. So now we can actually find the transformation of the vector one, zero, zero by performing the scalar multiplication and then determining the sum. Notice six times one plus five times two plus six times six is 52. Six times three plus five times four plus six times one is 44. And six times one plus five times one plus six times negative one is positive five. So the transformation of one, zero, zero is the vector 52, 44, five, which gives us the first column of matrix A, the standard matrix or transformation matrix. And now we need to go through the same process to find the transformation of the vector E sub two and the vector E sub three. So next we have the vector E sub two as a linear combination of the three vectors we know the transformations for. And then we have the augmented matrix and the augmented matrix written in reduced echelon form. Notice here, C sub four is three, C sub five is three, and C sub six is two. So now we know the vector zero, one, zero is equal to three times one, one, negative eight, plus three times negative one, zero, six, plus two times zero, negative one, three. And then again, from here, we take the transformation of both sides of the equation and apply the properties of transformations on the right side of the equation. We first write the transformation of the sum as a sum of transformations, and then we factor out the constants of three, three, and two, and then we perform the substitutions for the transformations which were given. Perform the scalar multiplication and find the sum, 
and we have the transformation of 0, 1, 0 is the vector 21, 23, 4, which gives us the second column of matrix A. And now we go through the process one more time for the vector E sub 3. E sub 3, or the vector 0, 0, 1 is equal to a linear combination of the three vectors we know the transformations for. And then we have the augmented matrix, and then written in reduced row echelon form, notice here, C sub 7 through C sub 9 are all 1. So now we know the vector 0, 0, 1 is equal to 1 times the vector 1, 1, negative 8, plus 1 times the vector negative 1, 0, 6, plus 1 times the vector 0, negative 1, 3. Next, we take the transformation of both sides of the equation and apply the properties of linear transformations. But here we can just drop the constants of 1, which gives us a transformation of the vector 0, 0, 1 is just the sum of the three given transformations, which gives us the transformation of 0, 0, 1 is the vector 9, 8, 1, and therefore the third column of matrix A, the standard matrix, or transformation matrix, is 9, 8, 1. And this is the matrix we were looking for. I hope you found this helpful.